Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and of course good evening here in New Zealand. How are we all? Welcome along to the stream. Nice to have you here with us. Hello, let's go through who's here. Chaz, Brew, welcome along. Have you here. Hey Chinook, nice that you can tune in from work mate. Don't uh, get too distracted though. How are you doing? Callum, hello to you as well. John, how are you doing? Long. Lambert, how are you? Nice to see you in here nice and early. Steel Horse, good day, mate. How are you doing? Welcome along. Ah, uh, Mr. Farm, some guy Argsy rules. I've got the hat on today, so I do rule. How you doing, mate? Good to see you. Hope you're having a nice morning over there in Scotland. I remember you from before, Chaz. How could I forget? Hey, Sean, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How is everyone doing? Good to see you to back here in Southern Cross. And uh, we're going to go do some bailing. We're getting straight into what we have to do. Ah, uh, Scott, my man, are you up early or do you stay up late? Nice to see you, mate. Nice to see you. Um, we have gone ahead and leased ourselves the baler. Uh, we obviously had a bit of a play around with it on Griffin, Indiana. If anyone caught that on the weekend. Uh, but other than that, uh, other than that, I haven't used it much. Now, why can I not get rid of my auto drive? I don't know if anyone else had issues. I have lost all my keybinds from the update. I had to reset my keybinds, so still learning ones that aren't working. Uh, but yes, we are here. And uh, did have a bit of a play around with it. But I didn't actually drive it much myself. Well, we're going to have to do all the driving ourselves here. No helpers in uh, New South Wales. No helpers around here. Anyhow. Hey, Nismo, what's up, mate? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you here. Callum, we're not going to play that game of help every five minutes again tonight, are we? Oh, my controller creep. Look at my controller creep. It's even worse than this control, this uh, contraption because of the way the steering works with the rear, rear drives. I'm going to make you guys all sick by the time this is finished. Hey, Mark, how you doing? I'm ripping the argsy rules. Yeah, I knew FSG was going to tune into the stream tonight, so I had to wear the hat. I couldn't go full blown FSG. I mean, I could go full blown FSG. It's up there too, but I'm just gone with this one today. Here we are. Better drive than you and farm some. <laughs> Don't know about that, Chaz. I'm going to blame my controller, though. Honestly, like, it has got the worst stick drift ever. And does random things like that. Looks around, does all sorts. We're just going to get in. You mean you didn't see you don't sleep in it? Shh. I've got an FSG t-shirt for that. So, we're going to make some silage bales. And one thing I need to do is make sure we're only doing 150 bales. Now, don't get caught out anyone. This is a trick for young players. Make sure if you're making silage bales, check your wrapper. Because the round bale wrapper there only does 125s and 150s. So if you go ahead and make 180 round bales, you can be stuck in one of these. Which is fun. We did it the other day in Griffin, but uh might not want to do that. Same here, this one will only do 150 uh, centimeter round bales. Imagine a 150 millimeter round. Man, that's 150. Uh, hey Jacob Mornay, how you go? Doing. Welcome along. You're up early this morning, Scott. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, so uh, make sure you don't get caught out having the wrong size bales for your crap. So there we are, 1.5. Let's turn on some automatic drop. We've got our dusty land scale. Let's bump that up to 2.0. And uh, let's just get into it. Straight into some bailing. Incendiary, welcome along. Uh, Chaz, I've had all sorts of autocorrects for Argosy. Um, Argosy seems to be the most common though. Argosy. So, whatever that means. Here we go. Right, let's get into it. Let's get some bales made. I was tempted actually, and uh, FSG and I were talking about it. I was tempted actually to get the new Winra. I love the new Winra. That looks great. I was tempted to go through and wind roll all this up again, but I thought we uh, wouldn't be progressing very fast if I went to all that effort, so we've just uh, skipped it and jumping straight into here. So how are you all doing? I hope everyone is having a good day. Those of you who have got the Vermeer DLC, thoughts, first impressions, are you enjoying it? I certainly have been with my uh, limited amount of time I've had with it, but I'm really enjoying it. It's great. Great bit of kit. I thought I turned on automatic. Oh no, I turned it off again. Turn it on. Uh, 
what mod is this? This is the Vermeer DLC that's just come out, Callum. As of, uh, well, but, oops. Most people today, um, some of us have had it since late last week. Some of us have had it since early last week if we're a silver partner. And if you want to help me getting to a silver partner, oh, I back up to pick up some and then I miss that piece. This is uh, it's, it's not starting off very well. Uh, anyhow, am I on PC? I am on PC, Jacob. I am indeed. Gosh, I cannot drive a straight line to save myself. You know what's fault? I'm going to blame the whiskey. We're enjoying a Glen Moran B this evening. Oh, I guess the pickup, gotta get back up. See, it doesn't stop fast enough. FSG and I were talking about this the other night. It doesn't stop fast enough. And it's alright. But I haven't actually had a chance to open it up yet, Mark. I was actually going to install it on this game save and have a look at it and play around with it, but uh, I haven't had a chance yet. On my list of things to do, I was actually editing Elk Mountain before this started. And uh, it seems, as my kids are getting older, they're uh, staying up just that little bit later, which is eating into my precious uh, editing content creation time. And how dare my boys grow up. Why can't they stay young forever? Everyone needs to like this video. That'd be awesome if they did, Chaz. Very awesome. That is a very enjoyable drop there. Scott, I knew you'd appreciate it. Alright, well that's what, three bales and we're only just getting halfway around the headlands. It's boating well. So you know what I should have done? I should have bumped my dead zones up on this controller. Um, I think that might have got reset as well when I've gone and reset some of my other settings. Mike72, you've liked it, awesome, thank you. You rock. Get that backed out of the way. This is, uh, actually, it's not quite top shelf steel. I've got a, I was very kindly given a, this is a 12 year old Glimmerang G. I was very kindly given an 18 year old one by some friends. I did some uh, drawings for their house operations, just some minor stuff as a favor for them. And uh, in return, they got me a lovely bottle. I can see with drops like that coming out, why the English were so keen to invade Scotland. Pesky kids growing old. <laughs> Worse than the school holidays, I know they start even later. You're fortunate though, at least you've got a, uh, I mean, you know, you, you do have a room, you have your own room. I don't even have that. I've got a side off a living room. But you make do with what you've got, don't you? Make do with what we've got. Let's hope everyone has managed to uh, watch our No Man's Land videos. It was a lot of fun getting in and doing some grass work there. Knocking out some more land. Putting more land on No Man's Land. Be every man's land soon. You have to go already, Chaz. Hey, no worries, buddy. Thanks for uh, hanging out for a little bit. I do appreciate you stopping by. I say, manually driving a baler along a windrow does not very conducive to reading chat. But we'll do our best. Tell you what, when we get to a full bale, it's probably a good time to stop and have a quick scan on what you are all chatting about. Who's been on Facebook tonight, or this afternoon, or whatever it is that's having a hissy fit, if anyone hasn't noticed. It's quite hilarious, I thought. Jacob brought the Kubota DLC on Xbox, and for some reason it won't update. There isn't an update. Yeah, I've um, I've read that there are people having issues on console with updates for the Kubota. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, yeah, something seems to have gone a little awry. That part, gosh, those sheep are noisy. Send them all off to the meat work. That'll sort them out. 
So this is only our small field, we've got that other one next door uh, to the bay like as well. Is Oxford David going to convert Oakfield Farm for 22? Well, that's uh, going to be right in the way. Ooh, just risked that. Um, I don't think he is more now. I think he's said for a lot of his uh, maps he's not planning to. So, um, like Chellington Valley and Sandy Bay, I think he said he wasn't going to. He's putting his energy into um, Port Farms at the moment. Although in saying that, he obviously snuck out Swiss Future Farm without any fanfare and uh, working with Giants in the background on that. So, you never know. Never say never, can you? Never say never. So, I'm, as, as cool as this is, and I know people have been asking for this self propelled baler such a long time, pretty pricey. And I think if uh, I had a choice, I'd probably stick to just having a tractor and a baler. Obviously, the tractor is going to be more universally usable. You can't winrow and Ted and mow with this, but. Uh, could have a tractor that would do all of those jobs as well as just hooking a baler on the back so could be a good thing Ooh. you do like it John? awesome good to hear you like to see what I choose to wear on No Man's Land well it's funny I hadn't actually noticed that Vermeer, there was Vermeer clothing I hadn't even looked at that and then I was going through right what am I going to wear today and I was like oh look Vermeer t-shirt we'll wear that I did originally have um, some blue shorts on, but I was very quickly told that they uh, did not work as an outfit by the fashion conscious Jason Statham. So I thought, well, when Jason Statham tells you your uh, outfit doesn't work, you listen. So we went for the uh, the all black look, which I did see that. Uh, Who was it? Nismo said about the uh, All Blacks this weekend there is. And Tina. I'm actually looking forward to the Aussie South Africa game before that. Be nice watching them back to back. There's access to the DLC. I might put a windrow on the front of that baler and sort out the brakes. I don't think there will be Mark. Um, like all other DLC, it's pretty much locked down. Give me a shout out. Callum Grayling, you are shouted outed. Have I used Alex Alex's mods Aussie trailers before? I don't think I have. Mike, um, I can't recall having used them. I can't even recall saying that that's a familiar name. Where would I find those to if I wanted to have a look at them and see about using them or adding them or checking them out? Always looking for new things, particularly if it's a uh, period or not. I can't say if it's period correct. If it's a uh, location correct, geographically accurate. Oxygen here, David has no contact details, it's far I doubt Oxygen will actually let anyone convert his maps either, to be fair. Um, he's on Discord, he does have a Discord server and does communicate on that, otherwise on Facebook would be another way. I know he often replies to comments, but probably had a number of requests to from people to wanting to convert those maps. Blue and black should never be worn together. I'll tell you what, after yesterday, red and black should be worn together. How good was Man U against uh, Liverpool, eh? So this is our year. Slow start, but... Eh, it's our year. Forget about those first couple of matches. Newcastle does well, eh, mate? Hey, it's all going right that side. Come back, son. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I reckon Newcastle. Newcastle are looking pretty good. Leeds against Chelsea. Yeah, I, I had great pleasure in uh, talking to my oldest son about that. He's a uh, Chelsea fan, for whatever reason. Right, 
How many bales did we get off that? I know. Let's check the calculator. Other uh, calculator. Counter. 10 bales plus what's on here. So, uh, not too bad. Now, control Z. No, uh, control E. Resets that. So now we can see how many we're going to get off this field. Good job for keeping Axie from committing fashion crimes. Now, 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 now. I'm not sure what's wrong with black and blue. Don't get it. This would have been a good field to do the bigger wind rower on. White and gold. White and gold or blue and black. That's what I was going for. Like, I'm trying to figure out what colour I'm wearing. That's what I was probably screwing with FSG's eyes, he couldn't figure it out. Gunners. Uh, they'll have a couple more good weeks, Chinook, and then they'll uh, be all over. I'll start tumbling down the table. My boy tried to tell me that man you were going to get relegated this year. Be more chance of that happening last year to be honest. Hey Mr. Stay Drunk, how are you buddy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. First person. Okay. First person's good except you don't know whether the uh Pickup's down. No way to tell. Oh, apart from the uh, fact that you're picking up grass. Oh, all that was. That was not very fun, was it? First person for 10 minutes. It's a long time. I don't know if I can last that long. They're on King's Mods and he has two of the road train setups. I'll have to have a look. Mick, thank you. Sorry, I missed that message up. Oh. Hey, you can send it to the movie like, Mark. We could even uh, test out the vehicle um, passenger script on No Man's Land, although we don't have any spraying needing doing anytime soon at all. Actually easier going in a straight line here in first person. Can't see quite so much. Nice gear, gear shift on the uh, monitor down there. Nifty. Nifty nifty. But to be honest I thought you would have sent it to him already Mark. Probably get a video out of him quicker than pull out of me. He's made it even more patriotic, if he's true. Because you can't even see if your back door's open either. You've got to listen for the clunk. don't mind driving this in first person, quite easy to see things. Good. It's probably easier to list what he hasn't done to it, to be honest. What field are we in? We're not in field 16. Field number 1. I was just looking on the monitor where it said a field number, I thought, is that actually accurate? That'd be cool if it could grab the field numbers. Oh dear. And just hit a deer and a vermeer. I hit another deer with the vermeer. Pleased to say the internet is looking pretty decent this evening. 
behaving itself. Huge links again to Chinook for his help. Looking at things on that front, certainly has uh, made a big improvement. Very dear. Vermi deer sounds like sauce. That satisfying clunk. We're going to end up with quite a few bales out of this. We've got 10 out of the other field. What do you reckon? 25 in this one? 20? 25? Let's see. See how close we can get. I do like the auto opening though with uh, the brown bales. It's quite handy. Quite handy indeed. So, anyone looking forward to anything coming out of GamesCon this weekend? Um, don't expect there to be any big announcements, but might see some more details on things I know that they are having a playable version of pumps and hoses um, so that'll be pretty cool to see hello Billy Chamberlain welcome to the stream mate Nice to have you here. Pleased to hear that you enjoy my videos. Appreciate that, my friend. Always nice to hear from new people and uh, older like. They're enjoying things, though. So thank you for popping in. More stuff on pumps and hoses. So the uh, the gameplay video they released the other day actually showed a lot more, didn't it? Or was it just info? Because I haven't really caught up with what happened at Farm, well, farm Con. But there's there's a lot of features in there with the VGA and different looking uh, tanks and all those kind of things. One thing I'm wondering about, and I was thinking about it on like uh, how many animals. Because obviously at the moment we only get slurry from cows. Do you reckon they're going to add slurry as an option from pigs or other animals? Because how long does it take to get any decent amount of slurry or digestate? I mean, it's going to it's going to force people into buying slurry, isn't it? Otherwise, you're going to be needing a huge amount of animals to get an amount of slurry or digestate that makes it worth spreading. Hey Ben, how you doing? Come to Aussie and drive you, Baylor. I'd love to. Love to. What part of Aussie are you on? Callum, you probably want to check your internet, mate, because everything is green on my end and there is absolutely no problems whatsoever. Except for my driving. As Ben offers me a position to go and drive his tractors or whatever Baylor he has. One thing I've never actually done actually, I've been in tractors with bailers, but I've never actually been responsible for driving one. From everything I've seen though, it's quite an art, the building around bale. It's going to work out perfectly, we'll pick up this little piece here. Bale done. You'll start in October. Yeah, I might be a little bit busy, <laughs> Ben.
a little thing called real life work. I do want to try and get a bit of time in Dad's tractor this together. Occasionally happens. Let's see if I can wrangle a few hours in it. You run a one megawatt BGA with silage and it produces more than enough digestate. state. That's interesting. Sure. Yeah. I suppose we've got a decent amount of digestate state on no man's land. Oh. What have we got? Maybe a hundred thousand litres? But a hundred thousand litres of digestate state doesn't go very far on a field like. We'd be lucky to do these two fields with a hundred thousand litres of digestate. state. I would think. Get smart and be able to just whip in there and pick that up. Go across. Oh, I still, I haven't still gone forward far enough. Wish the uh, pickups quite a long way back on it, isn't it? Can confirm the internet's smooth in Scotland too. Good. 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 Have I used? The Kenworth T900 Legend Pack. It has a skin for me. Is it? Is it in the pack now? I know Legion's made one, and I know I've made my own skin for it. Um, we've got it on what map? I don't have it in the safe. I have got it, and I have used it, and I've got the skin on. Oh gosh, I can't even think what what map I've got it on. I know Legion made it for me anyhow, but yeah, I have seen it. I've used it um used it on Elk Mountain. I've got it on at the moment. It was worth a try, we're having trouble. Are you really having trouble getting drivers been? Whereabouts in whereabouts in Oz are you? Internet connections 5x5 five five for you. Good, Scott. Good, yeah. Hey, it's the Stigmanator. How you doing, buddy? Nice to see you. 10 months. Look at that. Our baby's one month old. I must say, it was a little bit weird that you called it Legacy, though. Just a little bit on the creepy side. Courseplay keeps generating courses that leak into the adjacent field. Is there a setting to stop it? No, as Scott has just said, it's to do with how close fields are. It can only detect... It detects fields if they're too close, it will detect uh, one field. So you do have to um, do it. Now we are dropping some frames and do have an error. Little Victoria. Well, if I could uh, justify to the wife <laughs> going to Victoria to drive tractors for a while, I'd love to. What's happening with this internet? Chinook, what did you do to it? You've broken it. If you hand paint them on steel horse, it'll um, it auto scans the fields each time. So it pick up the other there. It should pick up the new fields once you've painted them in. Um, you'll pay me. Um, gone slow for it all of a sudden. Hmm. 
not you, I know. <laughs> Certainly is having a uh, having a little bit of a hissy fit though. Thanks for stopping in, Mark. If you can hear me, I hope you can. Nice to see, you, buddy. We'll uh, catch up with you again soon, mate. Have a good day at work. And a safe day at work. some good colour. I think we're recovering the situation. How long are you looking for drivers for, Ben? Be the weirdest recruitment recruitment opportunity ever. Uh, I was just trying to look Chinook, actually. Uh, Got up to about 113. Download speed's alright. Ping. Everything's gone green on OBS Discord. Uh, but, uh, YouTube it just hasn't caught up with it. Uh, uploads about four, so but that is while I'm streaming. Also. So, anyhow. You pop up from Melbourne, steel horse, but the last farmer I worked for told me I couldn't drive straight enough. <laughs> could you not, uh, if you're following Winrose and bailing, surely you could go in a straight line? Hey, Pozos, how are you, mate? Welcome to the stream, just as I'm putting up with my internet bailing. But I see the Platinum Edition trailer. Uh, I think I have more now. Pretty sure I have. The green one. <laughs> it was 35 years ago though. Oh. Running smooth again now. Cool mate. Thank you for that. Thank you everyone who hung around and persevered. September through to January. Congestion spike, you reckon? Stop throwing all these weird terms at me. Too many people trying to do too many things at the same time. Is that what you're saying? I think it's much the same here, to be honest, Ben. Um, pretty sure seasonal workers and that, and there seem to be lots of advertisements for that over this side of the ditch as well. You're only allowed to drive on fields that could not be seen from the road. <laughs> okay, they really weren't too happy with how, how straight the lines you drew. Drew. Drove. Oh, goodness. dog swimming. Everything's GPS except for bailing. See I don't know how much GPS because I don't really think much of what we have in New Zealand. I mean there would be in the big wheat field in the that in the Canary Plains but I don't know how much done with GPS around our part of the world. Our part of New Zealand at least. But this field I'm in, this field would be a big field for us probably. Shake off that little bit of internet issues and uh, carry on. 
Hey Scott, how are you? Good to have you here, welcome along. Nice to see you. So I was used to get told pick a spot on the horizon, so fortunately we had a we we're in a very flat area and if you were going east west or well, actually even north south in some regard, but east west was easy because uh one direction there was a big big set of hills about fifteen Ks away, so you picked the tree or a radio aerial or something like that up on top of it and you just always drove straight towards that guarantee because of the distance and perspective and angles and everything you get a pretty straight pretty straight line in the field even even fence posts you know or something five or six fields across wouldn't be too bad still not not quite perfect yeah something on the horizon Always a good little trick. It's funny though, like we get our 11 year old mows our lawn sometimes on the ride on and uh, he couldn't drive a straight line to save himself. Gets to the point where I go out and I'll do like a, a pass and then skip about six passes and then do another one just so he can have some straight edges to, to reference off. Had a hectic couple of weeks, Scott. What's made your last couple of weeks hectic 80,000 bales wow what size like this sort of size bales Ben too early to start work it is Nick what time is it for you 6am 5.30am a bit earlier than that Sort of someone who drives tractors for five months of the year in Australia and it's the going right. Four thirty AM, even earlier than I thought. Now, I don't obviously have enough grass to finish a bale, but I also am going to return this because it's leased, so we might as well pick it up just to get it off the field. In fact, oh no, I couldn't have done that anyhow. I was going to say we could have gone and dumped it in. In with the cows, other oh, cows to put, ah. Uh, words, uh, the sheep gone and dumped it straight into the sheep. I can't even do that. We pop not been well, we flew over to see him but we're an hour too late. I mean oh I'm sorry to hear that Scott. Sorry to hear that indeed. It sucks mate. Do that on no man's land for me. Thanks. Alright, done. How many bales do we end up with? What did I say? About twenty five in that field? 26 26 we went in with 87% of a bale though we came out with 21% not bad even if I do say so myself 30 to 40 an hour wowzers almost worth it what sort of hours are you doing 12 14 hour days Right, bale wrapper. Where's our tractor? Eight by four by three squares. Oh, so squares are even easier, aren't they? Because you don't have to worry quite so much about where the bale goes in the pickup because they're not rolled like a round bale. They're uh, uh, squashed, <laughs> compressed. Um, because that's what I thought, like, making round bales is a bit of an art form. I'm going to cheat now, which is going to use some store delivery here. Don't comment. Right. 
bail on into no, I like the bail on into because on it. What colour should we do this time? Go with some pink. Oh no, I don't quite. Has everyone found, has there been an improvement? I haven't looked. I've only got this on transport contract. Have people noticed an improvement with contracts? I know they said with the um, update they were meant to fix the contract issues. All right, let's go and get this going. A bit easier to read chat doing this. There you go, recruitment, recruitment by our uh, YouTube stream. So you just need to say how much you're going to pay Steel Horse and he's there. Automatic drop, yes. How good's that? See, that's another, that's new. That's new. Makes sense, but how good's that? I'm happy with that one. Gone. Boom. Happy days. Contracts seem to be fine. Well, that's good. Always annoying because they just disappeared so early. Then one disappeared. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Well, up and along, everyone. Nice to see we are up to. 27 people here at the moment. Awesome. Pleasure to have your company. Thank you for tuning in to Southern Cross Station this evening. We are, uh, well, we've just finished bailing our bales. As you can see, well, it took us about 45, 40 minutes, 35 minutes. Not too bad. We've ended up with 36 bales. Now we're just going to crash into that one that I just managed to tip again. Um, we're going to get them all wrapped up. And then I don't know what we're going to do because we're going to have to wait for them to ferment, aren't we? Really really give that much consideration. Like I said, nice to have so many of you tuning in on this Wednesday evening or uh, Wednesday morning. Some of you, make sure if you uh, haven't dropped a like, please think about hitting that thumbs up and uh, telling YouTube you're enjoying things here. Enjoy being part of the community. Sometimes you mightn't go to bed for 30 plus hours, not a lot of people like that. That's a, that's a fair few hours. Ooh. internet issues stay with me folks we're still here we haven't gone anywhere no oh, back to green back to green going your first proper day off in at least two months I'm sure you have earned that day off too because people around you keep getting sick I say it's one of the benefits of uh, being my own boss and having a office job Most of the time, anyhow. Hey, Chinook, you are a start. What have I told you, though? You don't need to do that. Thank you very much for the super chat, my friend. Do appreciate that. I have today, in fact, my monthly payment from YouTube came through yesterday. So as of today, I now have a savings account that that is all going into. And uh, the plan is to go to Farmcom next year. Hopefully, hopefully Chunuk by then 
by then you've got a friends and family discount or our flights. What do you reckon? That's the plan, saving farm um, Maybe I'll get FSG to show me around Scotland or something like that. Does that work on, um, like with Star Alliance partners? What is there, I think, is uh, obviously Singapore Airlines, but is Lufthansa a Star Alliance partner? Oh, cool. Andy. Not getting too far ahead of myself, but I do think it could be one hell of a trip. I am more worried about what our wives would get up to though, SG. What bail wrapper is this? This is the, it's the Kavunlin one in the, um, in here, Scott. Uh, it's just the very first one. I've just changed it to Vicon rather than Kavunlin and I put the bail on end tuna. There's an addition. Just uh, run of the mill, bog standard, base game. And then the nice pretty Pretty pink wrap on it too. Haha, <laughs> dude. Oh, thank you, sir. You're a star. Appreciate you, Mr. FSG. Didn't have to do that though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are legends. Oh. Take some of these over into. Oh, we'll go actually go. Try and wrap them in a bit of a spot so we don't have to go so far when we're loading them. I don't even know how we're going to load them yet because I've got a whole lot of wool on the back of the trailer. We'll have to see. Did you see we managed to, you probably caught up on Discord FSG, we managed to fix the West Aussie server. Or at least... Uh, Christoph did. Got that all fixed up and running properly. Dodgy mod. <laughs> oh, Zahos. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much, my friend. Too kind, too kind of you. That's a very good start. That's a good, good to start to the trip. I actually had a look at what flights to uh, Europe would be. I think it's a two and a half thousand New Zealand dollars. I booked them today. Travel sometime in July. Now, I was just speculating, just curious as to what it would be. But setting up the bank account and having that saved there yeah, <laughs> got me all excited. So. some reason when doing super chats on phone you can't type the amount you want. Oh, that's right. Stop doing them. Stop doing them, you don't need to. Always a dodgy mod. It always is. Not to be confused with a dodgy moderator. So, let's have a look. These bales, because like I said, they're not going to be grass and it's fermenting. We're gonna have to wait for them to ferment. What do you reckon? Do I just leave them in the field to ferment and then we sell them? Installed the pack? Nice man. In have you played with it yet? Pozos was uh, fortunate enough to win a copy of the DLC on the weekend during the stream. 
very nice and uh, Steve who won it hasn't got in touch with me yet so I've got his code sitting there ready to go but uh, I can't seem to find any way to communicate with him but Steve if you're watching this now later another time get in touch with me Hello again Callum, how are you? Had to have a play with the self propelled bailer, could nearly follow the rose. Nice. No need to be sad Callum, no need to be sad. Alright, where are we going to stack this one? Maybe over, uh, over yonder. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Long Hill, welcome. How are you today? I am doing well, thank you. Enjoying running around making some pink marshmallows. And, uh... What else? Whoops. And just chewing the fat with everyone, really. Fair enough, Callum. I do remember you telling me about that last week. Cannot, cannot imagine what it must feel like, my friend. So, uh, stay strong. Stay strong. Uh, right. Dump you do. Facebook sorted itself out yet? That was hilarious. I said to my I logged in and I was like, I was looking at my news feed and Facebook and I was like, what's going on here? I said to my wife, you looked at your feed and she's like, yep. Yep. She had celebrities she hadn't followed, <laughs> but she didn't even know she was following or she, she was following, popping up. I like all the memes, I jumped on Twitter to have a look and see what was going on. People were <laughs> making joke memes about Mark Zuckerberg plugging the plugs in and trying to figure it out. Hey Shubs, how are you buddy? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good morning, afternoon, evening. I oh, know it's not evening for you. What is it? Awesome little flick the controller does for me. Alright, we'll stack these ones. Actually, we'll leave that as a give me a lone lone rider out there. He's over here. What is what are now? Actually, that's what I think I was gonna say. What did everyone has everyone who have people seen custom modding are gonna be jumping into the uh, world of potato planters? I thought it was pretty cool. Mr. Sim Farmer, welcome to the stream. What a pleasure to have your company here this evening. Of course, morning for you, isn't it? You're a UK gentleman, but uh, welcome along. Nice to have your company. Just got work from home from work and enjoying coffee and Axie stream. Can it be any better? Probably Long Hill. Probably. <laughs> we'll, we'll claim it. We'll claim it. You hope New Zealand beats the Pumas this weekend. I do too, mate. I do too. I'm feeling a little bit more confident after uh, after the last game. And I'm also feeling a little bit more confident now that they've uh, 
settled on the coaching staff and have brought Joe Schmidt into the uh, into the mix in a more active role. So uh, that'll be good to see. So fingers crossed it goes well. I'm looking forward to the game beforehand. Actually, I was saying before, looking forward to seeing how um, how South Africa can go against Australia. That should be a goodie. I think Australia will be hurting after their trip to um, Argentina, so I think they'll be out for redemption. Late morning for you, just browsing YouTube and saw you live. I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you very much. And DJ to stop in like he often does, and we'll have uh, have some real royalty or a few few royal members of the farming sim community here. Custom modding potatoes is great. I agree. I agree. It's going to be awesome. Oh, Ben. <laughs> Thank you very much for that super chat. You're a legend. That was awesome. Um, is, that, is that everything? I can't see any more bales. I would have counted them. Does, this doesn't have a counter, does it? How cool would that be if I had a counter for how many you'd wrap? Right. Well, that didn't take long. What, 15 minutes to wrap all of those? That's pretty good. So uh, I'm going to catch up. I've, I've invited some mates around and we're going to watch both games back to back. Because I think what the Aussie South Africa game must be in the afternoon for us. About 5.30 kickoff, And then the All Blacks at 7.30. Might be 5 and see. I can't remember. One after the other anyhow. Should be good. Good couple of hours of rugby. Rugby and beer. Can't go wrong with that combo, can you? South Africa has a bad record in Aussie. You reckon... So, let's get some opinions. So we've got the wool there. There's 12 bales, I think, of wool. I don't think there's any more to pick up, is there? No. We've got 12 bales of wool. That would have been perfect if we had high wool. Um, it's not at a good price. We are rock bottom. But we've got to wait till October for it to get any better. And even to there, it's only going to be, what, halfway up? Maybe 1,000, maybe 800? We could go to Grocery Mart and get 800 bucks, so that's that's 8 or 9 grand. I reckon we just sell it, get the trailer unloaded, and then we can load the trailer up. I think that's what we're going to do. Need to find the truck first. Get that turned off. And jump in the truck and get going. Here comes the Hickory Sickies for tomorrow. Oh no. Actually, I was gonna I was gonna lay a complaint. Chinook. My wife is going to Auckland on well, she's gotta be in Auckland on Monday morning for work. So she's flying up on Sunday. The earliest the latest well this isn't true because she could have gone on a flight at 6 30 on Sunday night, but that was a bit late. But the next flight they could get two of them booked on was I think it's two of them travelling together was 10 a.m. on Sunday morning so I legitimately see it as a reason for her to get out of um, a day with the family and kids and things like that personally ah and there he is there is the man I mentioned him he arrived so I know I think he's listening Mr. DJ how are you buddy good to see you as always welcome along What's happening in DJ's world? Keeping up with all the mod news as always, of course. Where did I say I was taking this? Groceries. Where's the grocery store? Check. Well, I think it's over the other side. Right. Uh, grocery part. Look at it. Now at first time. Go straight down and then we'll two intersections. Totally. It's all good up late this morning, about to head down to the office and start the day. 
I don't know whether it's a little bit creepy that I know exactly where you're going in your house after your, <laughs> your studio tour and everything like that. But man, got to admit, just a wee bit envious of your setup. Just a wee bit envious. A lot of hard work and effort's gone into it though. I can only imagine. Alright, let's go and see if we can get this sold in here. Two dump triggers. The different ones are. Oh, not too bad. What's that? Seven, eight, nine, eleven grand? I'll take it. I'll take it. So we might have got, what, maybe another... 50% on top of that, maybe 16 grand. Not really worth it for the 5 grand to not get those bales that loaded up and out of the field. Plus, if I don't move the bales, I don't know what we're going to be doing for the next hour, anyhow. <laughs> we'll go and do some bale loading. I know everyone enjoys my stacking skills. Care of tech nerds is a lot that I don't think I need at all, but it makes things so much easier. Ah, we'll just get by with we'll just get by with a few minimums here. Wing it. Tech nerd the best sort. Farming nerds are better. Uh, let's go into the big field first. Only because I couldn't be bothered turning out that controller again. Alright. Get over the other side of the field, we'll load up furthest away, and then we will drive on out. And uh, I guess we should be able to leave these on the, on the trailer. Now, I wonder. I do have auto load on this. I'm not going to use it though. Must resist temptation. Go find the tractor. Points. What's more realistic? Using auto load or using a bale for bale spike to pick up um, wrecked bales? You know what? Can't do it. Grab. Loader. Got up. There we got the bells right away. Hmm, maybe we do just stay with the uh, spike. Not ideal, but we've got that. Let's stick with it. Alright, let's go. Yeah, so I was saying before that custom modding potato gear looks awesome. I haven't heard of Lockwood as a potato brand before. I've just heard of like, the likes of Grimmy and Spudnik and those kind of ones, but uh, it is a new one to me. a beef massive man curry nerd is even better. Is that, is that right Shane? I'll take your word for it. That's an interesting type of nerd. Alright, enough cross. Hey you name Welder, how are you? Haven't seen you on stream for a wee while, welcome. Hope you are doing well. Late dinner tonight, Shane. Fair enough.
Hey Rox, how are you? What's happening? Been playing some Minecraft tonight, have you? That stocky been causing more chaos or are you uh at peace with them? Those of you who don't know Roxanne, she's a very good friend of mine here in that New Zealand. Known. How long have we known each other for, Rock? Played games together for years. Mainly more with her husband, but at least the uh, brains. And the beauty, for that matter, too. Yep, Minecraft. Nice. Good job. NM Welder. I've been very busy and I took my only time off work for the year about a month ago. Oh, good on you, mate. Well done. Because remind me, you're in Arizona, aren't you? If I remember correctly. Not far away from Trevor Bales, was it? I thought we've talked about that before. Unless I'm confusing my, uh, confusing you with someone else. 10 or 11 years. That'll be about right, because, uh, yeah, because um, Leanne and Amon were born about the same time, weren't they? Uh, what, 10 and 11? New Mexico. Close. Close? Is that count as close? <laughs> Doing all the irrigation and everything, don't you? Well, that's what we're talking about. All right. I'll tell you what. I'm not going to uh, blow my own trumpet, but that's pretty. That's pretty neat. I do take some. So. About a day's drive from there. All right. Not that close then. I was going to ask, the reason I was asking is whether you, um, if you were that close, whether you got affected by the windstorms that I saw that they had go through and uh, wreck some of their sheds. Looked pretty impressive, like just straight lifted a big, well, well to my eye would have been a one ton concrete foundation out of the ground. Looked pretty impressive. Brett said hi. I'll say hi back to Brett on me. Well, I hope he's cancelled all plans for tomorrow night. Hey, that's a good plug, Chinook. Oh, got sprint on. Um, jump onto Discord, guys, if you're interested in joining the multiplayer servers. We've got, what have we got it set up at the moment? Three set up at the moment. Um, Chinook. We have got a La Coronella, we've got a Green Valley, and a Renabu, I think. Is there another one that I'm forgetting? But if you're interested, jump in there and join. There's no requirements for you to be a channel member or anything like that. Um, for anyone to join on and just play, if you haven't had a go on multiplayer before, just get in there. There's always someone around who's happy to help and give you some advice or ask questions of or anything like that. So um, they are all PC only, though. That's the only only consideration at the moment. But uh, other than that, get in, have fun. They're there for you guys to use and play on, and girls. So uh, feel free to join. GT night tomorrow. Get out of town. It's not. It's, it's boys apex night tomorrow night. He knows it. GT night's Wednesday night. If he didn't change it, if he didn't put his foot down when people tried to change it. Then uh, he's just going to have to miss out on Grand Tourism. No Southern Cross still trying to get that going. Right.
So if um, I'm going to find it a little bit harder to watch if it's G's. Um, stream tomorrow because we've had a bit of a change around in the office. You know, I don't have my own office anymore, which is a good thing. Um, all, the, all the staff, we're sitting in an open plan area, so a little bit harder, even though I'm the boss, to be having a stream running in the side. We'll see how we go. But yeah, go and jump into the um, go and jump on the multiplayer servers. It is a lot of fun. Um, unfortunately, I don't have time between trying to do videos and content to spend a whole lot of time on there. Um, I do want to try sometime in the next month or two just making some videos of my life and times and what everyone's up to on the multiplayer servers. So, um, and when, if I do, I'll definitely be putting posts on Discord and trying to coordinate it so we can get as many people as we can on the server at the same time. Um, so that'll be the that'll be the plan anyhow. We'll see see how it all goes. Like I said, open for anyone. Um, and no requirements to be a channel member or anything like that. Let's get in there and have fun. Just be respectful. Obviously, some people have been playing it for a long time, put a lot of effort into things. I just don't go and change everything. But at the same time, um, feel free to make contributions. Lies, I won't give him permission to play because Stocky won't fix things he broke. Oh gosh. Beauty of working from a home office. Problem when I work from a home office is I don't do any work. part of the reason I wanted to make this change is because I'd be more accountable to everyone else in the office as well. Even, yeah, you know, you the boss. Lead by example. So that's what we're doing, making it a healthy change for the business. You are back. Welcome back, Scott. Welcome back. Ready for hay season to be over in him welder. Well how long much longer does your hay season go for? I mean New Mexico, I thought you'd be going for a, a quite a long time. We're gonna have issues. Nope. You're right. We're gonna have to nickname the truck the Marshmallow Express at this rate. Home office, no work required. Can you can you just rephrase what you wrote, FSG? You're s sitting in silent or watching my bail stacking while I'm also holding down conversations with three or four people on a live stream. I thought I was going to jinx it then. You got two weeks off, so you're allowed to watch. There you go. Good timing then, eh? Good timing to get a Vermeer DLC pack. Alright, is that everything down this end of the field? Done. Getting ready for my fifth cut and just one cut more before cotton harvest season. Oh, straight from one thing to the other with you then, Boulder. So how do you harvest your cotton? Are you, uh, you do it loose or are you bailing? I'm only going off, or is there another way? I'm only going off uh, what I've watched in Farm Sim, or what I've played in Farm Sim, so that's my reference point for cotton. Evening, Linjet. How are you? I am doing well, thank you. Yes, I have seen auto loading. I think I've actually got auto load on this trailer, but uh, I am a fan of stacking things manually. It's soothing, therapeutic, and uh, I also don't have much more to do on the farm at the moment, so it's kind of it. 
and it makes FSG jealous when he's watching. So we're just going to carry on. Gonna stream Scott. Depends if the farm some guys streaming. I imagine the FSG will be streaming. I heard he was going to uh, live stream the creation of an episode of Surviving Wyoming to build the uh, hype on the hype train. I may or may not have heard that and I may be making it up. What's your stream going to be, Scott? I think last time you were streaming you said you only had one more save game left to go before you'd got through all your save games. Now when you're really feeling confident with your stacking then you try and do this. This is where I'm going to drink myself. I'm not even going to use the grab on the front of it so let's see if we can do two of them. That's right, you did tell me you were off to the military tattoo this evening. He's going to record some live action sequences for uh, Surviving Wyoming. Old Stream Farm, that's right, you did say that too Scott, I do recall. Here we go. So that'll be your last last save game you need to <laughs> boom look at See you, Rocks. Thanks for hanging out. We'll uh, catch you later. You will see me tomorrow. Lead. Brett's not going to play with us. We'll sub you in. Probably better than him anyhow. Now you're jealous of FSG, Shane. That'd be a pretty cool thing to go see, to be honest. We've had it... Uh, they've come and done it here in New Zealand before. Obviously not the full blind thing. We have had the... Uh, military tattoo here, in fact we had one locally probably doesn't have quite the pomp and pageantry of being located in Edinburgh Castle kind of a country that's only a couple of hundred years of uh, English colonisation, we've obviously got a lot of history other than that but um, we don't have too many castles Pretty happy with that. To be perfectly honest with you, I am pretty happy with that. Right. And get these last few out of here. Uh, we're going to sneak around the back. We won't bring the truck this way, it's the tractor. We go from a JD9965 to a module builder, then the cot picks up the module and instead of a module we dump the cotton into a trailer then a hole to the gym. Yeah. So that's kind of loose then isn't it? If I use the uh, um, some reference. So I watched, um, I remember Laura Farm did a video where Grant went down. They were down in Texas I think and watched some cotton harvesting. If I recall correctly. And it was all loose. Loose and they put it in the uh, module builder and yeah, it was pretty cool to see actually. Like it just compresses it in together. You put cotton away. Ah, pretty impressive. A few tanks and explosions. Perfect. Perfect theatrics. 500 hours on old stream. Feel impressive. Oh, thank you very much for the nice and the uh, smiley face and thumbs up there. Appreciate that. Not enough convicts there to build castles. <laughs> I 
Those are different type of harvesters than what I use. Okay. How are you, Jason? Good to see you. Speaking of that, yeah, what did you say? Your cousin's son is in the Brisbane Boys College Pipe Band. He's been over a month performing. Look forward to seeing him. Nice. Didn't realise they let the convicts out of Australia to go back to our uh, motherland. Those though, if it's your cousin, they probably came from there in the first place. That's probably the closest I've got so far to having a little whoopsie. Much easier it is having that bale tipper though. It's worth it on, well, for me, I think it's worth it on those uh, wrappers. Just hit the bales and have them flat, which makes them so much easier to handle. Modules are too labour intensive, that's why most use the John Deere round balers. Is that what's uh, most common in Aussie? Jason? Much around where you are? Because you're up in Queensland, isn't it? Or is it more north or west where you are? ones in that way. Boom. Beautiful. However, what have we got left? Four left and I'm only going to fit two of them on. Oh, we'll see. Actually, first generation Kiwi's here to move with work. <laughs> That's a shame. I wanted to go to the Edinburgh Tattoo for as long as I can remember. That's now well over 50 years. You've been patient, patient, Grant. Patient, patient. Richard, good morning to you. Welcome to the stream. Nice to have your company. Of course, I should say good evening because it is well and truly into the evening here. 10, almost almost 10.30. Alright, I am going to try and squeeze those last four bales on the back. Then we would have ended up with the perfect load. I reckon there's just enough platform. I almost said the D word then. Um, just enough truck bed to sit a couple of bales on. Let's see. Use pickers and I have eight running, four row and six running. Yeah. You got more for some parts. We were thinking. Ooh. Hey, Crofter, thank you very much for that. Got the hat on and everything today. You can slide that bail in underneath. Oh, no. All right. It fits it, fits it, fits it, ships right. Most of the industry do the rounds, even the case customers. You can't get the labour when you need five to six single mulch, but only one to drive around bailer. Makes sense, doesn't it? I suppose it depends on where you set up in the industry and all of that sort of thing. Now 
this one's going to be a problem, because I reckon I need to move that front bale forward. How do I get myself out of this dilemma theme? I think I'm going to have to restart. Oh, oh, I thought it was going to stay there for just a second. Drop that one down. That's alright. We're pushing the limits. Pushing the limits. I could have gone and just stacked it up on top. Could have gone for the easy option. I like it. Tonight. Be quick. I'm gonna be quick on the draw with those. Quick on the draw. Thank you again, Crofter, for that uh, two pound super chat. Appreciate that, my friend. Uh, except the straps locked it in, hasn't it? Oh no, the uh, bales locked in because of the truck. So if you drive forward. Yeah, look at that. Use the truck to turn it over too. Hey, James, how you doing? Good to have you here. Good morning to you. Morning. It's evening for me, 10.27. In the PM. Can't see you getting there in the next 50 either. Oh, you never know, Grant. The opportunity might come along. Can't say I'm going to give away and trip to Edinburgh Tattoo, though. Somewhere might. Might be an opportunity, you never know. Never know. Right, this is going to be a quick draw. Strap, unstrap. Ready? Three, two. Don't even see it. Oh, that one dropped down a bit. Look at that. Now I could potentially unstrap the whole lot and push them forward. But I am not going to do that. That would be That would not be the wisest move I've ever made. There we are. Well now we just need to leave those sitting there and fermenting. And uh we're out of jobs to do, I think. Use three guys when you run just one. Just one picker and a module builder. Right. All strapped down, Scott. Safe and sound. Cotton industry near me is relatively young thanks to the varieties that can handle a bit of cooler weather. Modules never took off because the JD was released at the same time. Need the oversized signs now, I do. I have them on the truck. Got the road train signs. Oh no, I have got oversized on the truck, not on the trailer. Roll this back into the shed. We're ready to uh, sell once they're all ready to move in. What do we end up? Oh, look, that tells us how many. 198,000 litres of uh, grass. That's 200,000 litres of silage. So, 200 times whatever the going price for silage is at the moment. Let's go and have a look at that. Sick. Not possibly the straightest I've ever backed the trailer. Uh, so, where are we? 200 litres. 200, 200 silage. 174. Times 200. 20 grand? Closer to 40 grand, isn't it? 35? Any, any advances on 35? About 35 grand. It's alright. Oh, and it's going up. We're here. Oh, it's good. Not a big, huge difference. Those are fifty dollars Still, it's not bad. It's good I had them on already. Yep, there we go. We were prepared. I am um, having them on the back though. Um, it's pretty close, pretty close. That works though. That works. Right. What are we going to do now? Used to grow cotton, peanuts, and watermelon where I am, but now, but no one does it. Mostly hay pastures around. Amazing how things change, isn't it? We used to have a lot of cropping around us, a lot of wheat and arable crops, um, but that's gone by the wayside main crop we'd have grown around here now is corn and mainly for maize solid for our uh, dairy farms so 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 let's have a look forward 
So we've got our barley and our canola growing. They're just doing their thing. They're in nearly phase. They're done. We don't even contract things, do we? Do we? I reckon we might try and skip forward a day. What happens? Don't sleep anywhere. Handy hand pod. Gosh, oh, I had equal. I should have returned those. Oops. Oh well. Very well. It is what it is. And there we go. Look, everything's popped up. Those. Weeding. Sewing. We could do some sewing actually, because I think some fertilizer. We still got some seed over in this. Ah, uh, not a huge amount. Two thousand liters of seed. Uh, what needs seeding, and can we find a field that needs seed? Seed. Organ wheat, oats. Which ones of which one of those wheat? Sorghum wheat and oat. Which one of those uses the most amount of seed? Uh, doesn't matter what I do. Wheat's three thousand. Oats three thousand. Sorghum is oh, sorghum's the last. Uses half the amount of seed that wheat and oats do. So if we do one of the contract sorghum to plant, well, I say the contracts didn't disappear, but look. Look at them go. Go for field 18. So much for fixing the uh, disappearing contracts. I've just disappeared right in front of our eyes. Frustrating. We might take that one. Go and do some fertilizing. We'll accept that one. We'll see when we go do some fertilizing. Right, I mean, I managed to, um, yeah. Two of the round module pickers in one case one around you, and then you think there's only one module built within 60 miles that you know of. Crazy. Crazy field 18. That one there. Yeah, oh, I think we'll get it. And wait a minute. we have sorghum selected, I went past it. So it'd be annoying if the uh, contract, little contract bug hasn't disappeared. Well, as far as I'm concerned, a contract should stay there till the end of the day. At least now you can accept, you can take multiple on at the same time. I suppose that is an advantage. Not sure how much one. All right. Oh, field eighteen. You reckon we can get it planted in half now? Question. Mr. Bears Den Gaming, welcome along my friend, good morning to you. Thank you for your continued membership on the channel, I do very much appreciate it. Saying earlier that uh, I have set up a separate bank account where uh, some of the, well all the income from YouTube is going into at the moment and will be used to try, try and get my way to farm comedy. Yeah. That's the plan. And if that happens, I think there'd have to be some sort of uh, some sort of extra event set up around it. I'm gonna go all that way without doing some extra thing. So,
I use trailers that I just dump the basket into and haul to the journal on smaller fields, or I don't have enough common to make a module. That makes sense. We'd have to bring potatoes to FSG, seeing as we never got that potato harvest. Well, if, you know, if all jokes aside, Bez, by give, give him 10 months' time, he's probably going to be at 100,000 subs and he'll be having to do that potato harvest. Don't you worry. I won't be forgetting that. I won't be forgetting that. I see a bunch of new ones going to Texas. They use the highway in all types. Alright, there is our target field straight in front of us. Or is this actually... Do you know what? I don't think we do get into it here, do we? We have to go over the train track. I seem to remember having come to this field once before. Yeah. Okay. I think it's a crossing over here behind the... Um, Behind here, there we are. Alright. Can we come in through the back of the sawmill? All the way down there. Yeah. Oh. Switching farms are all close to each other but different landowners. I'll keep them apart in the module trailer. Turn left around, thank you, Jason. Yep. Should have asked you, I know you've got plenty of time on this map. You probably know every way to get everywhere. seems to be a lot of people looking forward to Griffin, Indiana coming out. Um, the, che the testing list wasn't updated yesterday, but hopefully we'll be back on it. Have I seen Stevie's Elm Creek edit? I have seen it. I haven't I haven't played on it or downloaded it or anything there. Um, but he's put a lot of effort into it. Looks like a pretty impressive map. Obviously bigger and uh, a whole lot of different aspects to it. You're disking 10 and 11, right. I'll give you a wave. One's 10 and 11. 10's the one on the right here. The 11 the one on the left. It is too. <laughs> oh, funny. Up though. It's gorgeous, is it? Is that right? No. No helper run on it. Nice. Nice work. I mean, I just see my internet is just throwing its toys again. Should come right in just a few seconds. Be patient, thank you. Oh. All right, we've made it. It's really has thrown its toys this time, hasn't it? You let me know if you can hear me and see me and everything else. Hopefully you can. Still looking a bit up and down.
Uh, I'll have a look to knock. It's coming back. It's not the internet's not too bad. One hundred and twenty ping, twenty three down, and seven or eight up. A horrible GPS row there too, by the way. This farmer's not be too happy with that. A lack of a straight line. You're here still. You're back. All right. Pleased to be back. Thank you. <laughs> hey, uh, Katie Blue. Loud and clear. Good. Thank you, everyone. Still showing up in red and different colours for me, but oh, there we go. OBS is green. Good old internet. Better than it's been, Bear. Still not. Still not the nicest though. Um, I'm just going to skip forward some time because I don't like the light we're driving in at the moment. I need to be a bit brighter. Here we go. Yeah. Sheep chewing through the cable again. I haven't fed them enough. They're not running fast enough to keep it going. How's the saying go? Treat him mean, keep him keen. Tell you what, it's probably going to take us longer to have driven to this field and back than it is to plant it. How big is it? Not too big. Well, thank you all for hanging out. Do appreciate you guys staying around. Persevering with my internet. Well, they say problem problem shared's a problem hard. Well, if I can share my problem with twenty or thirty of you, then it's gone a long way. If the internet goes out, I'll still have my whiskey. Next problem is going to be this is a pretty tight little corner to turn around in. Goodness, I've only got the uh, 60 footer or 65 footer, uh, the 85 footer would be a bit tough in here, wouldn't it? Oh, oh that's. Clipping the fence, clipping the trees. Oh, here we go. Right, we are okay. Almost five. You need to head to town for a meeting at five thirty a.m. You'll talk to me later. That'll be awesome, Wilder. Thank you very much for uh, sharing about your farming life and uh, what goes on in your world. Appreciate hearing about it. I do I do enjoy hearing what you guys get up to and what happens in different parts of the world for farming and things? It's nice. Might you suggest some mineral feed <laughs> for the sheep, yeah? We used to give our one of the pet sheep used to um he probably still would actually. Eat sheep muesli out of your hand. Happy as Larry. Be able to hold your hand out and he'd just come up and munch it. He's also big enough I can just about ride him. It's huge. Big boy. Name's Flash. Why? I don't know. But one of the kids named him. He was our oldest son's first pet lamb. And he's a breed that has a is known for having an extra white wool. 
And uh, he missed out on winning the care and attention. Because they reckon we'd washed him. Shampooed him. Did the stream crash? I'm not sure, mate. Might just have to... I'm still here. Are you here? Good for now. Beer's got me. Okay. Everything's green on my end. So hopefully we can make it another 15 minutes and get this finished. All good. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, I just have to figure out what those little... What those little lumps are all about. They're not... Don't know what your plans are on the weekend, mate, whether you're still thinking of coming up or not. Entirely up to you. Keep that in your hands. The way the weather forecast is looking over the next couple of days, it's not looking too flash, so I don't know if there's going to be good sport on Saturday. Unlikely. Look, I've fertilised this field for these guys. It's been generous of me. We want to, but we had fertiliser on the cedar. Um, so we've had, we actually had a significant amount of rain. We've had some actually serious flooding down um, top of the South Island, Nelson. It's been absolutely pummeled, you know water halfway through houses and things like that it's just devastating but we had quite some heavy rain yesterday yesterday evening anyhow the part of the drainage system for the farmland around us and for the region is um about three k's away from us four k's away from us and one of the banks on the drain burst about 10 meters wide and won't affect us but um People not too far away. It hasn't gone into houses. It's a designated ponding area, so it's designed to actually flood. And water's designed to pond in there, and they pump it out. So there's not actually a huge amount of houses down that in that area, but it does affect pasture and things like that. And obviously, dairy farms that are down there are well and truly into the calving season. A little bit frustrating for them. Sorry, it looks like the internet's going bye bye again. I think we did actually have all the rain you'd been handing, Chubbs, to be honest. I think the rain you've got at the moment is on its way here later in the week. Where's it gone all all together again. Interesting. Well, my speed test tells me there shouldn't be a problem right at the minute. <laughs> apart, from, apart from a slightly higher ping, download's not actually too bad. Or the upload for that matter. Considering I'm running that test while I'm trying to stream at the same time, so I don't know what's going on there. Green again. We pick the right size field to um, plant anyhow. We're going to go pretty close on seed here. Should be right though. That good dusty land. Love it. Every time. Love it.
Hmm. We gotta hit speed up. Crazy and wait, this winter and doesn't seem to be getting any better in the spring. It's not spring yet, Shubs. But no, we've been, we, we, that's part of the reason it flooded, like it's been flooding so much over here, is everything's just so wet and saturated. Doesn't take much rain to uh, fill up the catchment and overflow and cause issues. Ugh. Hey, Mr. Farm Sim Snowy, how are you? Well, should have you stopping in and saying hello. Yeah, 50 likes. Thank you everyone very much for leaving a thumbs up on the stream. I really appreciate that. Very kind of you all. Eighty percent complete. Should be good. So I do wonder if I change to a more of a. I think I've got the stream set on a. The low latency setting, though chat's not quite so delayed. I do wonder if I change back to a higher latency whether having these ping issues might not be quite so serious. With the stream will ride it out a little bit more. Something worth testing. I'm not non no to not I'm not knowledgeable in those kind of things to know whether that's gonna make a difference. Early lunch for you, nice. I'm doing well man, doing very well, thank you. Another pleasurable evening streaming, it's been good. Some distinguished visitors as well. Mr. FSG's been with us quite some of the evening, we had some farmer stop in which was a very pleasant and unexpected surprise. DJ Goham managed to find some time to tune in and say hello to everyone which was nice. And then we see a Huge number of members and uh, regulars as well, which is always a pleasure to have you here. In fact, dare I say it, you guys contribute more than the uh, than the famous faces. Ah, oh, the farm some guy. But always nice to see everyone. Don't, don't differentiate. You're all important to me. I'll tell you what was cool actually, I don't know how many of you were in the stream on the weekend um, after Griffin Indiana but it was pretty cool to go and raid Rusty Money Gaming after that and go and hit him up with um, get him over the thousand subs, that was a pretty cool, pretty cool feeling, felt a warm inside after that, being able to contribute to him reaching that goal, very cool. Here we go, contract finished. I'm not going to waste any more seed doing doing that. Although I'll probably just return this planter because it's um least in here. You are a popular guy. Oh, thanks, buddy. It's just nice having a community where those people do that too. This farmer's going to be mad at me. Why? Do I find cosplay works with ear cuts? It does indeed. I've used it on Deer Creek actually quite a lot. You can't. Had no problems whatsoever. Just skip rows is probably the biggest, biggest tip. Decent number of headland passes and skip rows. I'm trying to remember whether I had dual gear cuts. I don't think I did have dual gear cuts on that one. No, we only had the one. Regardless, worked fine.
Oh, the internet's that bad, you can't tell if it's your random one. Uh, and you as well, Chonok. I know you're one of the important people. Well, the error I missed. Hey, what are you talking about? Where is it? It's all planted. What are you talking about? That rope was brilliant. It was, wasn't it? It's was a lot of fun. Really a good way. It was a great way to finish my stream, to be fair. Enjoyed that. Um, Ryder Hillsman, what field was that? It was field number 18. That one right down there. There it is. We've just planted. What are the period? A lot of planted crop around now. What's sort of crops around? Sorghum. Potatoes are good. They aren't planted, are they? Oh. Those rows are. Oh, have I got. Oh, I've got weeds to deal with. That's something we'll have to do now that we've skipped four today. That'll be what next time is not four. That was fun with Rusty Steam Real Estate. He did, didn't he? He was. Honestly, he was. Oh, just, just. The fact it was his birthday as well it was just. A whole lot of warm fuzzies. Very cool. What a community. Agreed, Crofter. A hell of a nice guy. He just plods away doing his own thing. Does it for the fun of it. Um, just could not find a... You can find a more genuine guy and... Uh, yeah. Cool to get him there. Cool to get him to a thousand. They're really just a milestone. It does give him a chance if he's got 4,000 hours, which I wouldn't be surprised if he did. I'd be surprised if he didn't. Um, but if he gets 4,000 hours, he might have a chance to get a little bit of money out of it too. A bonus. When's the new Griffin Indiana coming out? Anyone's guess, Ryder? Hopefully not too far away. Um, I think someone mentioned before um, that AJ Farmer has said it's got through testing again, or testing complete, but um, it got to testing complete last week too and then he got a note back to say it had failed on a couple of things. So hopefully testing complete this time means it's finished PC testing and it's going to go through to console testing. So keep an eye on the testing list. I know it wasn't on it. Obviously the testing list wasn't updated yesterday. But just keep an eye on things. I know the guys, so I know certainly know Lars is at Gamescon. I'm not sure if uh, Chucky's there as well. But I've seen some photos on Twitch. Uh, Gamescon, but won't be too far away, Ryder. Just be patient. I've actually got another little video I need to do on it. It's just going to be a little two or three minute video. There's a few tweaks and changes that AJ Farmer's made. Um, and I was just going to highlight those so that everyone is aware of them. And in case you watch people watch my uh, map tour video when it comes out, they know that that happened as well. Oh, there we go. Thanks to your horse AJ posted on Giants forum today that he is just waiting on confirmation from them. The tool is showing him completed status. There we go. Awesome. Ah, Mr. Gogglepop, how are you? Great to have you here. We're just, uh, just heading back to the farm and pretty much wrapping things up. We're out of things to do. We have had a very productive stream. We've got 36 silage bales made. A nice trailer full of pink marshmallows all wrapped up and fermenting and uh, we'll keep getting them off sold next time, I hope. And just took on a planting contract just to uh, tide us over, fill some time up. Good. Get a little bit of money in. Actually up early enough to catch a bun that's right at the end. Oh, I know, I know. The weekend streams are for you guys. Weekend streams. Pleasure to have you here, mate. Please, you can tune in. Having a look at pumps and hoses, I know, notice it is cheaper on Steam. I got a code for it through Games Planet. 
can't remember if I do, put in part exclamation mark partner and that should give you a link to go and check out if it is discounted or cheaper on Steam through Games Planet as well. Worth having a look at. i right, just turn that off. You know what we're going to go do? And we're going to go give it a clean. Catch you later Shane, thanks for uh, hanging out with us, pleasure to have you here. Goggle pop, thank you very much for that super chat. I like it, can't be bothered to wake my lazy butt up. <laughs> I appreciate that mate, you're a legend. It's going straight into the Farmcom 2023 fund. Can you be selfish, you're not ready for Griffin yet. You can be selfish, Jason, of course you can. And this is least a bit of clean off in here. I mean, Shubs, you were saying that that farmer would be uh, upset at me. I did fertilise half his field for him. He didn't ask me to. Surely that goes some way to uh, making up for the bit I missed. You'll be selfish, Gimme Griffin. <laughs> That's pretty clean, isn't it? Looks pretty good to me. I'll park it somewhere out of the way. Yeah, well, hopefully not too far away. Hopefully. Fingers crossed it goes through. I think he's made some great changes to the map too since I did the tour on it. He's added a couple of uh, flat bottom grain silos on a couple of the farms. He's changed it so that when you start on new farmer mode that the um, farmhouse and that stays there. He's made a couple of smaller forestry plots. He moved the bale trigger after our live stream the other day. He's moved the bale trigger out and readjusted where the manure by point is at the um, farm, at the uh, animal dealer. So yeah, some nice, nice amendments he's made to it. It's good. Makes up for it then. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Spent a good 400 hours on that map in 19 was a good one for consoles. I agree. I think it's going to be a really popular one for consoles. It has a, it has a good mix of um, different areas and sizes. You wanted me to point out too that there's grassland and areas up the top where you can um, do more of a start from scratch. So you just buy some meadows and create your own fields and that sort of thing too before you wanted to um, build into buying some of the other land. Lots of cool things in there. There you go, there's the links. Go and have a look at that um, croft and see if there's a link in there through Games Planet to pre order the uh, pumps. I think there is. They didn't have a Vermi one, but I'm pretty sure they've got the pumps. Be worth comparing price though. No, there's an opportunity to get it a bit cheaper, why not? Being you still haven't found a map for console that lasts you more than a week. Well, Griffin might be it. Griffin could well be that map. Well there we go, folks. It is just ticked past eleven. Hey Wiki plays, welcome along. Nice to see you. How do Western Wilds not take you more than a week? I think it's uh whether that Western Wilds has to tick you Float your boat about wanting to create fields and all that though, doesn't it? I think it's about finding a map that you enjoy and stick with. You know, Southern Cross Station is one that I've enjoyed, but... Not everyone does. But nice to see you, Wiki. Good to have you here. Have to... Have a look at your map at some times. Wiki's made a uh, 16 times map that's 8 eight kilometers. Is it an 8 kilometer? 8 kilometer by 8 kilometer? 16x map Wiki? Um, set in Canada in the Rockies. I think it is. Is it called Canadian Rockies? Anyhow, it's on the Mods and Links Discord. So, 8 times. Um, so, it's on the Mods and Links Discord. So, you can go and uh, find it in there. Download it. Have a look. Now he's put a um, even, cheese, even cheaper crofter. There you go. Perfect. Even cheaper than Steam. Love it. And you support the channel and it doesn't cost you any more. Thanks Chinook, appreciate that mate. Uh, thanks for tuning in while you're at work. Appreciate you taking the time. Um, hey, no worries man, no worries at all. Yeah, go and check it out. Exclamation mark mods or the, uh, there should be a link to it in my description for it. Um, otherwise Wiki Plays does have a YouTube channel where he's done a preview of it as well. Or map preview, so go and take a look, give it a download. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. I need to uh, stop rambling, finish things off there. Enjoy building the farmyard, then putting machinery in there. Then I'll move on. <laughs> nice, Ben. Thanks, FSG. Appreciate you, mate. Thanks for hanging out with us for the duration. Nice to have you here. Enjoy the tattoo this evening. Uh, thank you again for that £20 super chat star. And I look forward to uh, 
Oh, meeting you in person. Jeez, imagine that. I ramble way too much in your videos. Uh, I ramble way too much, most of them. Which is funny. I need to be fair, my wife would be the one that's, I'm, I'm the one sitting in the corner ready to leave all the time. And then I get on here and I just talk for two hours with you guys. Go figure. Go figure. Anyhow, Scott, appreciate you getting up early. Uh, Jason, thanks for hanging out. Everyone, pleasure having you here. Thank you all very much for the generous super chats. Um, it's too many of them to remember tonight, but Chunit, Crofter, um, FSG, Goggle Pop, everyone else who I've gotten, um, Pozos, everyone else. Everyone else, thank you very much for your support. Uh, thank you just for being here. Thank you for uh, watching my content, for leaving likes on it, uh, leaving a comment on it, everything like that. It all just goes to help to support me and the channel and everything like that and uh, keeps me enthused to keep doing things like that because uh, I do love the interaction with it. It's the coolest part, meeting some really cool people. I might never meet you in real life, but just chatting to you, hearing about different things. Um, you know, just like tonight, getting to... Uh, welder about how you harvest cotton. Very cool. Ben, learning about your farm and what you do with your bailing and everything. So very cool to share that with you guys. Uh, so on that note, I'm going to tune out. We will uh, catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye.